Chimamanda Adige is a bad ambassador of the Igbo race. According to Kashim Afegbua, welcome to the news and thank you for telling me to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The controversial open letter addressed to the President of the United States, Joe Biden, by Nigerian foremost author Chimamanda Adichie Ngozi, has continued to generate mixed reactions. It will be recalled that in a letter, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie condemned the general conduct of the 2023 elections. She also lamented against the United States, congratulating Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunibu as the winner of the February 25th poll. However, a columnist with leadership newspaper, Kasim Afegwa, has criticized Adichie for writing the letter. In an article which was published today, Kasim Afegwa described Adichie as a bad ambassador of the Igbo race. According to him, she is a bad ambassador of the Igbo race in Nigeria. The Igbo mind is one that is presently troubled by the reality of the state as a face in the present. Kasim Afegwa stated in his latest article on leadership newspaper, so I don't understand how. If I am going to be seated across the table with Kasim Afebo, I would like to ask why and how did he come up with this answer. Maybe he's going to tell us, oh, she's an ambassador of the, she's a bad ambassador of the Igbo race because she came out and she wrote a letter telling uh, Joe Biden that see you, this election when I do, when I do for this our country. In myself, no, say we will rule there. Well, I know. You understand? What exactly is the offense? What prompted them now? Now, wow, you have real problem of the mind. You're very myopic. Did she write the letters an Igbo lady or it concern Nigeria that he is? Why must he give everything an ethnic correlation? And the thing is, this is coming from a particular tribe that they say they are welcoming. They are the most hospitable. Don't you think all these things that yeah, it was called that um, is going in this country is going to give people different different names? This is coming from a tribe. They say, oh, uh, these people, they are the most accommodating, they are the most tolerating, they are clinical, and now it is not happening like that. Hmm. Okay. I do not blame you. It is like I blame for lumping us together with names like, like you. But never mind. What must be done must be done. It's going to take some time. Oppression does not last forever. This is not shit wrong. This is the way Kazim Afebua talk. Election don't finish. Instead of people go go back to their normal life, people see that they clamor. They talk about this election result. To show say he pain people. Not Zeke, but God, if the North has gone, it was that have driven non Igbos into the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> you are very correct. The greediness of Zeke put the people in your present predicament. Greed is his deadly disease. When Awolowo and Tafabale was trying all their best to develop and improve the region, Zeke was running around for power. <laughs> okay, well. No wahala. That is your own two cents. Okay. You have changed the line of the argument to the abysmal law that you rightly belong to. Considering the fact that you were reprobate, oh my goodness, why are you people like this? Not only did Zeke run around for power, but he also negotiated firstly for a unified country, Nigeria. And this is the bane of the marginalization of Igbo man in Nigeria today. The negotiation and unity of Nigeria was done and compromised at the expense of the Igbos. Today, we are the living witnesses. Zeke failed the Igbos woefully and favored the rest of Nigerians maximally as a result of his own personal greed. Now, wow. Well, I don't talk him. That particular election. See, the thing is, everything you have, you people don't leave election will be saying, I'm a mood. Yakub will not be the chairman of I neck. I be the chairman of the body. Go the call person. We don't die for how many years ago. Make gonna leave that man making rest. Say, Nazik, say, make them do this thing. Make them rig election. No, ask me now, first of all. Say, Nazik, like, say, make them rig election. Had it been the election was done freely and fairly, are we going to be coming out to say this? And the result was posted. Of course not. We are not going to. We are not even going to be getting it at all. Hmm? We are not going to. You have a real problem of a mind. You're very married. Okay. I think I've, I've read that before. It is so unbelievable how shameless many Nigerians are. And the so-called journalists who put out this rubbish all because of racism. Hiding the truth of what happened in broad daylight. 
Um, see, old Obama made a point stress to us none or progressive Congress voters. And it was called a joke, but he still works free and even got rewards for his action during the elections. Here is a thing who called himself a journalist lying under oath and calling the noble woman names. I pity him well. I just want us to know. Um, what's the call? Election has come and going. It's time for us to come back. Let everybody fall back to base. Let us stop this attitude of uh, what's it called? Um, let us stop this attitude of uh, what you are doing. Coming out to always give everything anything and let me correlation. Alright. Um, how many letters has she written to the president of the USA concerning the killings of the Southeast? I don't understand. Killings in the Southeast, meaning saying that USA then will come as a con rescue, come rescue the South. <laughs> oh God. The IPOB and the unknown gunmen killings in the Southeast. With the order of seat at home, she would have written any letter if Obi was not an, an if no. Okay. Would she have written any letter if Obi was not an evil man? She's an ethnic bigot. The bottom line is that evil man cannot rule Nigeria. All right. And Carter's work lecture and Carter's relation in car is hmm, this thing that they do will cause while I any boy talking is doing so for the boys Why you are also doing so for a female race and so in car attacking obedience on behalf of Terumbu is doing so for the Yorubas. The new theory of Afegboa, the Babangida, Atiku, Oshomale, and now Terumbu has boy without principle. You should remember that your playmaster Oshomale led the group that founded Labour. But abandoned it to chase money with the mafia and you became his house boy. You took it to make Labour Party a national party as a national party and Igbo man. My own is, I, I, I've said it before, it is time for us to let the elections go. We are still holding on to everything that happened during the election. It is true we are hot, but it is time for us to go back to our lives. I'm telling you, it is time for us to go back to our life and start living it normal as it is supposed to be. Hmm? This always coming out to give anything, ethnic or whatever. It's not helping. It's not helping at all. Alright, but better people who think they will continue to take the Igbo race for granted. To them, the Igbo man is a waste product. The Igbo man cannot be reckoned with as long as the corrupt Nigerian politics is concerned. But they can say anything they like. We will not we do not have to blame. We must blame Namde Azekiwe for his foolishness. She was the one. That has brought slavery to the evil man. I would like to know the story. How he did that. Alright, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.